The biggest look at me, I am famous stunt and scheme in the entire history, 10, 20 year history of YouTube has been committed in the past 12 hours. Holy hell. A crime that should see you in prison for more time than Charles Manson, possibly even Prince Andrew. Um. Well, maybe not the last one, but some people in real life are simply known as married to. Can you believe it? I know, it's crazy. For example, Cristiano Ronaldo's wife. As lovely as she is to look at, she pretends she's made it on her own. Really successful and had a promising career, when in reality she's just pumped Cristiano's cash and improved everything. You know, big booties, big boobies, that sort of shit, you know. Uh, Cardi B is married to someone with the name Offset. I don't know who that is. Poor name, you know, it's poor name choice really from the parents. I, I hope he wasn't bullied, obviously. And, uh, you know, someone like Andy Murray's wife, she's known as the woman on the camera who always is clapping or crying. One of them. They are known as wives or husbands. That's all they're known for. And the person we're going to be studying today is simply known as Bazinga's wife. What, that's rude? Well, t tell me your name. Go on. What's her name? Yeah, you don't know. And if you do, that's weird. So please, in the comments, tell me any famous wives, any husbands that I might have missed who you think are particularly exciting and have had a successful career. I know that won't be many, but I'm sure there's one or two maybe who have actually done it on their own uh, without the help of a husband or a woman dragging their name through the dirt and then bringing it on the shiny side. To me, being known as someone's husband or wife actually sounds quite good. You know, all you have to do is spend your partner's cash, uh, you know, post a few TikToks, shaking your bacon, that sort of thing. Pretend you're Instagram famous and have a great time. I am no sexist no way jose not me uh -uh. however maybe slight one thing that bugs me about the female audience it's famous people's wives how come how do they get to do sweet fa all day it's bullshit they're all fake they do none of them like you maybe it is jealousy look, let's be real because i am too a minority though i can actually relate to these people because i'm an englishman but i am a tanned englishman someone who doesn't burn in the sun now there's actually not many like me we are a you know a minor a very minute number a, a small number in the population and we need to stick together but i too can relate to these women who you know are on their own they can't relate to many people being a rich man or woman's husband or partner they just can't why am i talking so much shite about these women and rich wives and rich husband you know it's not just women don't worry like i said not sexist i am a sexist old man no but seriously it's because of this debacle i'm about to break down bazinga's wife who it would seem would be put in the category of talentless that's really mean now, what do you what do, what do you mean, H bomb? Well, I'll show you what I mean. Someone who must cling onto any sort of potential opportunity presented by the people who they are milking and truly leeching off. Today, she has stumbled, fallen, and flattened her face, and truly shown how her lackluster skill set and how drab and dull and boring her personality is. I mean, before we crack open this ten of sardines, though. Now, remember, I'm no way sexist. No, no, no. Na, 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 na. Nine. Yet, no. I'm simply pointing out a trend that women are clout chasing who want nothing to do with you unless your pockets are as deep as there for because she's been bagged around the town more times than a taxi man when it's Friday evening and the kids are on the piss. Also, I really like the side men, uh, so it's not a dig. You know, I'm not having a go. I just, when I play this shit, you're gonna laugh. You know, me and Ethan, um, he's blocked me on Instagram um, because I found him and Lauren Alexis together. Firstly, as you can tell, this is obviously not real because of what's about to come out next. But also even funnier is how poor her acting skills are. She's trying to look everywhere. She's not even crying. I mean, she doesn't even know how to react. Um, as you hear a kid in the background, what the fuck? And it's, it's, just, it's just a whole, whole thing right now and I'm not really sure what's going on. Sorry for the state of it, guys, but I just wanted to come on here and just say, you know, me and Ethan... Um, he's blocked me on Instagram. Yeah, so this just goes on for nonsense. She's just saying, block me on Instagram. I mean, what? You know, who who gives a fuck? Stop scratching yourself, you crackhead. She is clearly not very uh, intelligent, nor a good actor. Then a Lauren Alexis, uh, you might know her as what we like to call as um, hoes in my country where I'm from. Some people call them um, only fan stars, but... I don't know what that means but holy shit can you believe this fame hungry woman and this person who is looking for attention and so much clout lied and made a big scene on the internet regarding ethan cheating on her what really i i know <laughs> it's fine 
It's crazy. But we're going to watch this because it will truly make you want to gouge your head off, kill yourself. Christmas ain't merry if it ain't got you and me. Telling old stories round the Christmas tree. You told my dad that you would have gone pro. If not for that dodgy news. So 17 seconds is all it I've been able to withstand so far. In terms of how I'm feeling, I'm feeling... Uh, like, this has to be one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Can you believe they are actually making people what wanting to listen? Like, this is meant to be a Christmas song where you go, Oh, next Christmas, I, I can't wait to put on that absolute banger by Bazinga's wife. Well, I don't even know her name. That's what they wanted from this, a big... Like, does she even sing? Have you heard her voice? She sounds like me when I'm in the shower. Pissed. What the hell? What in God's gravy am I watching right now, lads? Like, this is just terrible. Just simply, some people are talentless drabs. It's how life goes. If this was back in the, you know, the medieval times we weren't around, they probably wouldn't make it too far. They'd probably be dead by 30, you know what I mean? That sort of thing. Alcoholic, you know, something like that. Unfortunately, now with the internet and the modern health, people are living a lot longer and unfortunately surviving longer. No, I'm no way saying that that's this is it. But it's an opportunity for people to express themselves more. And that's dangerous because um, if you express shit, you just get more shit. That makes sense? If you lit a pyre of shit on fire... It would just smell more like shit. It would stink the place. It would be even worse. When you give shit attention, it just produces more shit. It's terrible that we have allowed people like this to enter our communities. They should be outcast. Finish him! Finish him! It's honestly dog shit. None of it even fucking rhymes. Like, it's meant to rhyme. Like, song 101, make it rhyme, make it sound like it's at least coerced and you thought about it before picking up a microphone. We'd wake up in the morning just to do the tree, feeling like a proper family. Oh, God. I hope this picks up because this is just absolutely mind bogglingly crap. And now I'm blocked. For fuck's sake. We <laughs> Thought this was a Christmas song. You gotta swear at a Christmas song. Fucking maniac. This song is trash. To play, say the silly things that we used to say. You lift her up to put the star on the tree. I hope she is that not his wife? She falls down on her face. Cause that used to be our little tradition. It's clear, baby, you're on a mission. Oh god, this is just so fucking trash this is like trash tv had sex with trash tv and then their kid had sex with the kardashians and then they it just produced an absolute demented tormented absolute artard of a kid and it was just there lying there drooling all the time and had to be fed through like a, a fucking tube or something what 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 this is absolutely gosh darn terrible and it goes on four minutes 29 <laughs> These guy, girls just cannot stop doing this uh, shack, the shaking of the boot hay. Any opportunity these days, isn't it? Oh, the boys can't stop it now, bloody hell. Oh, God, I don't, I want to see how this ends, but I just, I'm struggling. Faith Kelly, is that a name? And Connor Kelly, is that a brother? Holy shit, lads. Retire. Never do this again. I understand this was about getting the back and back together from when you were six and you used to play the ukulele and someone would sing, but times have changed. You smoked too many cigarettes. She can't sing. The, you know, the music was crap. And now we've gone into fucking DJ Khaled mode. <laughs> Even got papa in it. Fuck. Ah, Christ. Oh, ah, ah, oh, shit. Well, 
firstly, oh, her name is Faith Louise. I'm sure she's a lovely girl, but we haven't all, we ain't all got talents, do we? We're not all talented people. And singing ain't your talent, Sunshine, all right? It ain't your talent. Like, was she a TikToker? Like, what, what has she done, bros? I don't understand what this is, to be honest. I just hate my life sometimes. You know, you just see people like this. You just kind of want to, like, you know. You know, have you seen Daredevil? It's like episode, season one, like episode four or five. There's that guy who goes to the bowling ring and he like smashes all them people's heads in and all that and then they save him get him and then daredevil comes and beats him up and he tells him about wilson fisk and he kills himself on that spike that's what i'm gonna go do right now